All right. Now, in the problems that we're doing, starting last night, there was only two choices, and two choices only. Okay? Your choices are PVNRT, and what, how do we know when we use PVNRT, Alexis? Alexis? How do we know when we use PVNRT? No. How do we know to use PVNRT? James? King? No. How do we know when we use PVNRT? Other James? That you're going to use PVNRT when there's more than one? Okay, if there's more than one condition, we're going to use this guy. If there's only one condition, we're going to use this guy. Yeah? So this is, what do we call this? Ideal gas law. And this guy over here is what? Combined. Good. Now, in number 24, we are asked to find... Or we're given. I don't know what it is. It's good. Okay. Good. Uh, in, in number twenty-four, we're given the two point four moles, but we just, hold on. But we we don't know what to do with STP yet. With STP, the temperature is going to be equal to what? Two seventy three Kelvin. Two seventy three Kelvin. And what's the pressure gonna be? One ATM. One ATM. Okay. And so because they stated in the problem STP, that means the temperature, let's see, this is N. Now the temperature is gonna be two seventy three Kelvin. Can you hang in and I'll give you a pass? Okay. You can leave if you want. Please be quiet quietly while we're continuing the video and pressure is going to be equal to one atmosphere because that's what STP is. So we now know three out of four conditions. We're not given a second condition so we go up here and we see which one are we going to use. Ideal. Why? Because there is no starting and ending conditions. There's only one set of conditions. And the thing that we don't know here out of PVNRT is the temperature. No, we got the temperature, we got pressure, volume. Volume we don't know. So we're going to be looking for volume, and that's our unknown. And now we're just going to plug them all in. So pressure, pressure is one atmosphere. Volume is going to be unknown. And the N is 2.4 moles. The R is always going to be 0 0.0821. And the T is going to be, in this case, 273 because it's at STP. And now what we're going to do is we're going to solve for V. And so our V is going to be 2.4 moles times 0 0.0821, the constant, and our temperature, 273 Kelvin. And on the bottom, we're going to divide both sides by one atmosphere, which, of course, doesn't change these numbers here at all. And now, as we run our calculator, we're going to do uh, the 2.4, and then we're going to multiply that by... 0 0.0821, and then we're going to multiply that by 273, and that's in Kelvin, and we're going to divide by 1. We don't even need to worry about that. We can hit our equal key, and we come up with 53.8, which is what we round this to with three sig figs, and that's going to be a volume in liters because that's the unit of measure that has to go in the ideal gas law. And so this would be our answer. And I've also told you that in uh, question number 28, I gave you directions on the web. <laughs> you were supposed to use the combined gas law. 
and or I'm sorry, the, the ideal gas law. And instead of using the ideal gas law, you need to use P1V1 over N1T1 equal P2V2 over N2T2. So in that problem, if you'll use the combined gas law, you're going to find out when you set this up, P1V1 over N1T1 is equal to P2V2 over N2T2. And what are the variables that we have in this guy? We've got moles, if you're reading on page 432, your number 28 is going to tell you that we're going to be using moles, and we're also going to be using liters, or volume. That means that we have a Charles Law problem, and now what we do, since these are the guys that we're going to use, we're going to separate them out just like uh, Alex did when he was doing the do now and he separated out the two variables from the combined gas law. This, by the way, is number 28. Okay, and now we're going to use these guys and do a plug and play. So our starting moles, N1, is equal to 0.0226 moles, and our volume, 1, is equal to 0.460 liters. And now the, the uh, N2 is something that we're looking for, so that's going to be equal to our unknown. And they gave us a new volume, so V2 is equal to 0.865 liters. And now what we do is we plug these guys in, so we have 0.0226 moles over 0.460 liters is equal to N2 over 0.865 liters. And now we can just solve for N. And the way we would do that, since we can cross multiply here, I'm going to do this right on the calculator so you can see everything as we go. Let's clear it out from the last problem. Now, I'm going to, that's okay, we can go over. And we're going to multiply these two guys and then divide by this one because we can cross multiply. So I'm going to put 0 0.0226 times this guy, 0, I'm, I'm yeah, 0, 0.0, no, not 0, 0.0, 0 0.865, and then we're going to divide by 0 0.460. If you want to put that in, it's not necessary in the calculator, but I wanted to show you anyway. So now when we get our solution here, we come up with 0 0.0425, and that's the number that the book actually gave us for the answer. So this is all going to be equal to our n, n2, is going to be equal to 0 0.0425 when we round. As we're rounding, we're taking, this is our first sig fig, second, third sig fig, so the 9 is going to round the 4 up to, to 5, and this is going to be in moles, because n always has to be in moles. And that is our solution for that little guy. That's the end of our second video.